Here's a required minimum distribution quick take. I'm getting a lot of calls. Basically, clients are calling and say, Amar, my RMD is lower than it was last year. I don't get it. What's going on? And I go, okay, well, let's take a look at this. And uh, so I got several calls like that. And I, and I thought that like, maybe I should do a quick video to kind of answer that because it doesn't seem obvious at first, right? Because markets went up, so you probably have a larger 1231 balance uh, at, at the end of 2021 than you did at end of 2020. You had a birthday, so you're one year older. So on the RMD table, you're going up a year and you're taking a larger percentage distribution based off the table. And you're probably scratching your head. It's just like, like I was expecting a, a little bit higher of a RMD and I, and I don't. And for people that are taking this monthly, their required minimum distributions, it's uh, it could impact day-to-day uh, -day expenses. I mean, I, I've seen so far it being uh, several thousand dollars. So it's, it's not just uh, you know small peanuts here. So what's happened? Well, the IRS has issued a new, uh, what, what they call uniform uh, life expectancy table, basically increasing the age uh, or longevity of most individuals. And we see this predominantly in the ages between 75 and 85, where they have increased the longevity factor by almost one to two years. And so when you look at taking distributions, if the denominator has gotten larger, that means you're taking a smaller percentage out of your um, IRAs or qualified plans in the form of a required minimum distribution. And so, yeah, you know, a lot of people out there will have a smaller required minimum distribution in 2022 relative to 2021, even with the markets going up and them get them themselves getting older. And it's really in that change in the, uh, the IRS table. So for most people, you know, this could be a planning opportunity. This could be an opportunity to uh, look at where you are relative to the tax brackets because, you know, tax brackets are inflation adjusted. So those will go up and, and your income has got, your required income has gone down. So that would create more of a gap between you, your, your income and the next tax bracket. And so this could be an opportunity to take maybe some gains or other income and to, to really maximize the tax bracket. You know, one of the things that we focus on obviously is doing Roth conversions because that has the biggest, in my opinion, has the biggest bang for your buck in terms of tax efficiency for future generations. All right, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comments below. We try to our best to you know, answer all of them. We like to keep this a conversation and I hope you have a great day.